Hey, welcome to Mary Who Is Ready, a program of mine that deals with relationships, premarital readiness, and marriage issues with married people as well. Okay, I am Fifi Rich. I'm a makeup artist and I'm an inspirator based in Botswana. I'm always excited to come just to present another perspective on the matter when it comes to relationships, marriage, and premarital readiness. I believe you and I are aware that in Botswana, the divorce rates are very, very high and it really should concern us. It should concern you and I because we could either be affected, we could either be directly affected or affected by reason of a failed marriage from the past okay so you should really know what happens when things don't go well in a marriage and you should know how costly divorce is so thank you so much for coming my tiktok family and friends we are rolling mary who is ready out and today we're talking about free will mary who is ready free will thank you so much um team za for you for coming please just like 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 super tap for me and invite somebody let them know that fifi rich is here on tiktok and we're dealing with important situations thank you uzi thank you thank you please guys let's let's come let's come let's come let's come let's come so Mary Who's Ready is a program of mine that um, originally rolls on YouTube and so I am extending it to TikTok and to Facebook in this particular season but we're dealing with things we've previously dealt with before on YouTube and I also ask you to go on my channel and subscribe. You can check me and connect with me on there. I just search Fifi Rich and TikTok when you're here, please add me. If you're watching in the in the For You page, please just add me. Thank you Sepegelo and um i am also a personal development coach i deal with people that want to effect change in their lives okay so for that i cannot I cannot take requests right now, guys. I just have to, to do this real quick. You can get with me for that for a membership coaching or for a one-on-one -on -one coaching. And I am also a makeup artist. So if you're in Botswana and you need your makeup done, especially in the region, in the district of Hansi, please just get with me. I also sell makeup and I'll teach makeup. I've got lessons. I do every kind of service you can imagine when it comes to makeup including selling of brushes as well i've got my own brush set that i sell so thank you guys for coming we are talking about free will today free will we are healing we're gonna look at the issue of free will what free will is how to understand the dynamics around free will and then healing healing from a relationship that went bad healing from a marriage that did not work out okay and just learning to accept that sometimes people go because they no longer want to stay and that's fine because it's part of their free will and also appreciating dynamics that make people to break up with us like manipulation manipulation in the atmosphere manipulation by persons without bodies disembodied uh, persons spirits cosmic powers behind the scenes that work tirelessly to break us up to come between relationships and marriages and things like that so that you can forgive a person for leaving understanding that it's not always the case that somebody does not want to be with you that sometimes people are held by manipulation Okay, the health captive by forces that they cannot control, they cannot take control over. All right, so let's just get started without wasting much time. So once you're here, guys, just feel free to like, feel free to like, like, like. I'm going to be very quick. I just want us to get to 1K likes. If you're watching in, in the For You, please join my live. This is very, very important. Watch just sharing perspectives on the matter. Remember that Mary Who's Ready does not require you to look at this the way I look at them or to copy what I'm saying. No, I'm not really imposing my belief system on anybody, but I'm saying let's present other matters. Pamela, thank you. Please just help me to get the likes to 1K and help me to share, okay? Thank you so much. So everybody has free will. And it is important to respect the free will of another person. In Setswana, we call it Everybody has the right to believe what they want. Everybody has the right to choose what they want. Everybody has the right to form concepts or philosophies of life how they want or how they see fit everybody has the right to adopt a belief system that they want to adopt because a lot of the time what becomes our belief system our value system is influenced by our past by our experiences in the past by how we were brought up our upbringing and things like that and so we have to appreciate that when we talk about free will everybody has the right to choose to be how they want or to have philosophies that they want even 
in in a spiritual concept people have the right to choose whichever god they want to choose they have the right to take on any religious affiliation that they want let us appreciate free will you have the right okay and so everybody Everybody, even in the Bible, there was a time when a man of God, a prophet called Joshua, said to the children of Israel, choose this day which God you will serve, whether the God of the Amorites in whose land you dwell or the gods on the other side of the river. But as for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. So it's free will. It's free will. The man of God himself are saying, I choose to serve the Lord. So you choose which God you will serve. So this is free will to the point where God himself does not impose himself on us. He does not force us. He says, I am here. I'm knocking at the door. If you want, I'll enter. If you don't want, it's okay. So it's free will. What kind about free will in the context of relationship, in the the context of marriage today okay so we're just building up sweet Sally thank you for coming please just super tap for me so that we get to 1k likes okay so this is with regard to relationship that uh, that sometimes you are with somebody and they promise you things or you promise them things and then surprisingly another day you change your mind or they change their mind they may go away, they may change, or you may go away, and you may change. And when somebody leaves you, you are left uh, 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 broken, you are wounded, you are asking yourself, what did I do? Stay me, thank you. What did I do to deserve this? How come this person has now left me? They've promised all things, they've covenanted all, but they left. I was so sure that I'm going to marry this person. I was so sure that this person is going to settle down with me and was starting a family. Suddenly, they left and it gives you homework. Not only are you heartbroken, but you have to break the ties. You have to break the soul ties. You have to break every kind of soulish affiliation that was formed by that relationship. Otherwise, some of these things, they bind us because if a soul tie is not broken in the next relationship, now you cannot function properly because you are still one with that person from the past. Can you see how complicated things are when a person covenants something with you or promises you a life together and they leave you? Guys, thank you for coming. Please just super tap, super tap, super tap. You see, even after a relationship is over, you have to really Oscar billionaire. Thank you guys. Likes, 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 and gifts are allowed. So it is a matter of free will. I've learned that everybody has free will, and we've got to learn to respect the free will of another person. Sometimes we hold on to things. We try to convince people to remain with us, to stay with us. We hold on, you know, even when they don't want to remain. But my sister, Libo, thank you, Libo. You cannot force somebody to stay. You cannot force a man to stay, even if it's a child. You cannot force a person to stay just because you have a child. When a man wants to go, he will go. When that woman decides she's leaving, she is going to leave. And this is free will that we're really talking about while helping somebody to heal you've got to understand that you cannot force anybody to stay you cannot force a person to stay you can't so we don't force people to stay so let us learn to respect the free will of another person when dealing with another person when relating with people it is very important it frees us to appreciate the element of free will and where free will comes in when we deal with relationship it will free us it will free us to know it is good for people to stay with us because they want it's good for people to stay in our life because they want not because they are forced. It will free us, okay, to know that we accept love. We embrace love, which is given to us freely by another person. You have the right to love me, and you give me your love freely, and I have the right to accept your love freely. I have the right to reject your love if I don't want, and you have the right to take away your love from me if you don't want to love me. If you feel like, no, I am no longer worthy of your love is free will queen please help me by liking let's just like we're not here for too long guys but i'm here to give you another perspective on the matter because a lot of the time we're broken because people left but let's learn to appreciate free will and where it comes in in the area of relationship 
we don't beg it's good to know that we are not with people because we beg them to stay but we're with people because really they want to be with us and they want to be in our lives the day a person comes in your life and uh, uh, they love you it's good the day a person wants to leave and they say they no longer love you it's okay it's still okay. So if the foundation be destroyed, what can the righteous do? I want you to know, people of God, that there's a verse called, if the foundation be, the first, the scripture that says, if the foundation be destroyed, what can the righteous do? What can the righteous do? Thank you guys for coming. So a lot of relationships, a lot of marriages that are destroyed, even relationships with our destiny helpers, people that are meant to help us to get to the next level in life that are destroyed because of foundational powers, powers that be altars, that are fueled by powers, by spirits, persons that we cannot see, cosmic powers in the atmosphere that we cannot see. These uh, uh, spirits and altars, they fight against people, they fight against relationships, relationships, they fight against marriages, they fight against meaningful relationships that should get us somewhere, you see. So sometimes a person leaves you be not because it's free will, not because they want it, but they were under manipulation. There's a, a thing called manipulation and it's very serious because when somebody is under a manipulation of a force, when somebody is held captive by the bound by a force that they cannot control, it's very difficult to talk to them, it's very difficult to advise them and to say, no, this thing ought not to be so. It's just a manipulation. There's something that is going on. There's a contention in the atmosphere. Our relationship is under an attack. Jojo, thank you guys for coming. Thank you for coming. Please like, 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 super tap, and you can give gifts, okay? So sometimes it's not that if it's by free will that a person leaves, but there's something that is causing them to do that, that they are behaving in a way that they have no control over. And so this is how spiritual life is. And we just cannot ignore how spiritual life is. So it's up to you and I to deal with these things, to deal with these areas. Okay. But they can only be dealt with spiritually in the place of prayer by combating warfare because there are contentions in the atmosphere. Like I said, powers and cosmic powers and spirits that are always contending for our lives, for us, for our destinies, for our futures, even for our relationships, even for our marriages. So you see good people coming into our lives. The enemy of your life does not like it. People that are coming to help you to get to the next level of your life, the enemy in your life is not happy with that. So these evil powers, they manipulate people. They make people to misinterpret other people, to misinterpret your agenda. They make people to just to misjudge their good intentions that other people may have and so you might just find that you've been dumped or divorced by a, a partner or a spouse that was under a manipulation and so it wasn't their fault so please heal understanding that sometimes a relationship breaks or ends not because that person wanted to go but they were under some kind of manipulation they were under some kind of control by a power a force that they cannot see and it's very difficult to advise them to say this is manipulation because when you're under that control, the only thing a person can do for you is to pray. The only thing you can do for a person under manipulation is to pray for them. You cannot talk, you cannot advise a person who's under a, a, a satanic interference or demonic manipulation. Thank you, Olorata, for coming. So these things have to be dealt with in the place of prayer. So there's free will. You, re you, re you receive love by free will. A person loves you by free will. You receive it by free will or you receive rejected by free will a person comes today they love you is good they want to go it's okay it's that free will so let us learn not to hold people not to hold on to people so much so that when they want to go we cannot allow them to go let us learn to understand the dynamic of free will and to respect the free will of another person it frees us it frees us and it helps us to let people go so easily because now they don't want to stay and that's fine. All right. So relationships are spiritual 100%. And so is marriage. Marriage is spiritual. Tepang, thank you for coming. Have you followed me, Tepang? Please follow me and I'll, I'll, I'll get you back. Make sure that you connect with me. Okay. Thank you guys for coming. So free will. We're not here for long. But we're talking about free will. Let us respect that everybody has free will. 
everybody who's in your life today allow them to be in your life because they want and when they want to go allow them to go knowing that they may want to go maybe the season has ended maybe they came to teach you something take a lesson and go don't don't force a person to stay don't convince somebody to stay you lose your dignity it reduces you as a person imagine a relationship you know you are here because you are convincing somebody to stay it's hard work it's a lot of negative hard work there's good hard work but there's bad hard work which is so draining straining and toxic and we don't want you to go through that okay Tepang, thank you so much thank you guys for coming what do you think about what i'm saying have you been dumped and you just couldn't understand why this person had to go have you been divorced and you just couldn't understand why this person has to go it might just be the free will of a person they have the right to be with you they have the right to decide that now i don't want to be here for whatever reason it is the, it, it could be anything but remember that on the other side sometimes people go because they are under bondage manipulation by a spiritual force that they cannot see so let us heal and appreciate that that relationship may have ended because that person may have not had control you may have left a person and today you regret it but you left them because that time you were under manipulation you were being controlled by a force that you could not see a force you had no power over and today you're wondering what got over me today when you look back at it you're like ah can't what really happened but it may be too late. Maybe the person moved on. Maybe you tried to go back to them and they said, no, I can't. I can't anymore. Forgive yourself and forgive that person because it might have just been a manipulation. Thank you, Star. So please, guys, super tip, gifts are allowed. Relationship is spiritual, 100% spiritual. Marriage is 100% spiritual. If you do not overcome some things spiritually in the place of prayer, they're going to overcome you physically in your relationship relationship in your marriage so let's balance this equation together so i believe i am done free will is good to appreciate that a person is in your life by free will is good to appreciate that tomorrow they may want to go by free will free will so let us learn to respect the free will of another person let us learn to respect the free will of others this is what frees us this is what helps us to have free relationships this is what helps us not to have an unhealthy attachment to people. This is what helps us to release people when they have to go. Because sometimes when you fail to release a person, you are failing to make room for the better person, for the best person that you deserve that has to come. When you fail to release that person, maybe it's a season where you have to grow to attract something better. And you're holding on to something that was only relevant to the former you. And now the new you is saying, no, I need better. But you're holding on to a past relationship to a failed relationship but learn to let go learn to let go when you let go of what's not working or somebody that lets you go no matter how painful it is forgive and let go this is when now you're able to open yourself up to receiving love this is when you're able to open yourself up to being embraced again where you deserve to be embraced what do you think about this segment Please comment, like, share, and follow me, okay? My name is Fifi Rich. I am a makeup artist and I'm an inspirator in Botswana. And I'm so excited to come with my uh, segment, my program called Miri Who's Ready. When we look at the divorce rates in Botswana today, they're very high and it should concern you and I. So Mary Who's Ready is a program that deals with premarital readiness, relationship issues, and pre and, and marital issues with insights from married people and stakeholders that are relevant to the area of marriage as well. So I'm not just coming to do guesswork. I am coming as a well-informed person with an experience myself. I am coming with a background of divorce. I was raised by a single mother. My parents divorced and I was really, really, really 
small and it messed me up like nobody's business. There's no description for a failed marriage and the consequences of a failed marriage. It just destroys you, spirit, soul, and body. And it only takes God for you to recover from a broken marriage. So we don't want you to get there. And if you're coming from a background of divorce, it's never too late to recover and to be restored. It's only God. You just need to get with God. It's very costly because to execute a divorce, to divorce and to divorce very successfully, you have to put on the garment of violence. It's a violent thing to do. So we do not want any other child going through something like that I can't, uh, ever again okay so thank you so much for joining me if you need personal development coaching if you're interested in mentorship please get with me check my profile and you will be able to just get my number in my flyer my personal development coaching flyer is in my profile let's get together if you have an area of your life where you feel stuck and in a rut and you'd like to navigate forward because we can all agree as human beings that we all want to make progress in life and so this is one of the things that i help you with so i am here for that and thank you so so much for being here this is the insights that i had to present to you today free will learn to accept and respect the free will of another person it will free you it will free you thank you so much for being here and amen